Hello, this is David Benheim from Excel Consulting and in this video I'm going to show you how to make comments better in Excel, Word, PowerPoint, etc. Um, how comments typically work in Excel, in my opinion, kind of sucks. You have these things and you need to hover over it to then see where it is. And if you have some down here, then forget about it. You're just going to miss them. It's very, very difficult to see. So I'm going to show you two methods with this. Because how we're used to comments is something that we do on social media. We always comment on social media. Where you have a post, you can either comment here at Craig and kind of select someone. And then they'll get a notification saying they've been called out. Or you can reply to a comment as well. So here is a reply at Martin. There we go. And it will send them a reply. So this is how we expect comments to be. Excel comments are just not up to the cut, up to the chase. To the extent, <laughs> and I love this, Microsoft Office decided that these are not actually comments at all and never were. They have renamed this feature in the newest version to be called a note. Watch, new note. This is what comments used to be called. Isn't that hilarious? They realize the extent to which this is stupid, so they have renamed that feature to now be called notes. Um, they have this other new feature called comments, and I'll show you that. If you go to a cell and you choose new comment, you can add a comment about this, and then you can, or someone else can at mention Check it out. It only works with people in your organization for now, but hopefully in future it will be extended. And yeah, you can reply. If you want to at mention people, then your document needs to be stored in the cloud, which means either OneDrive or SharePoint. Doable with the free version of OneDrive as well. Uh, you also have here, you can press comments to show comments, or on the review tab you have show comments, it takes you to the same thing. And here are all of the comments in the worksheet, including all the th comment threads that you have everywhere else. In this sheet I have some more comment threads, so I can see them all, I can expand for view more replies. I can even here go to notes, and I can even convert notes to comments if I want to. Convert all notes, and that will convert them to comments. In PowerPoint, it's kind of similar. If I want to add a comment to this object, I can put new comment. What is this at Joe? Enter, and then that's sent out. And then he can reply here. This is the same comments feature. Again, it needs to be saved on OneDrive or SharePoint. Um, and again, you can go to new comment here. It puts it up here in the top right, but you can move it around to make it more relevant to that part. So that is the, uh, the main way to do comments in the newer version of Excel. But what if you don't have the new version? So here, I think this is not ideal, but it's slightly better. I have the word DB, is this right? And as I write a new comment, DB with uh, two dots, what is going on? It automatically makes it yellow, which means it's really easy to see. And even if I scroll down, down here, I'll be able to see another one. There we go. So it's super easy to see them, unlike the comments feature. And I know you can go show all notes and see them like that, which used to be show all comments. However, if you had some other notes down here, it's kind of difficult to see them, even with that turned on. Whereas seeing this is slightly better if you zoom out and scroll. So how do we do this? Select all. Go go to the home tab. No, don't go home. Go to the home tab. Ha! There's a pun for you. All right. So do that. Click on conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, and text that contains. What this does is it allows you to make anything that color 
if it has the word. So if I put Samsung, even if it's just part of the word, it will make every Samsung in red, right? If I put, if I change it to um, SR, it will make all of these SR in red as well. So in this case, I'm going to do, let's say my initials are DF, then two dots, so you don't write it accidentally. Make it in custom format, and I'm going to choose just the fill color to be blue, like that. Press OK, press OK. And that's it. Now, every time I write DF, what is this? It automatically goes blue. DF, I don't understand. And it automatically goes blue. Now, disadvantages are it can only be around data without around data rather than spell specific. I think that's okay. I have very, very few ideas for having cell specific comments, to be honest. So row or column specific for me is good enough. Um, but yeah, and you can't reply or at mention people like you can in other comments. But for me, it's still pretty good. So if you have the older versions of Microsoft Office, this has been around for 20 years, use the conditional formatting highlight cell rules text that contains. Otherwise, use the modern com comments if you have Office 365. Great. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.